Well, I've always maintained that I feel like I'm in a toxic relationship with the Black Stars. Well, this failure has reignited concerns over the team's management, including frequent changes to the Black Stars coaching staff and persistent interference from GFA. But on the five, Ghana coach Otuado has firmly stated he will not step down. He wants to stay in post. It's the same like that's why the background was important. It's, it's the same like let's say if you turn things around, turn this around. For me, because it's just because the questions were good. Okay, go tell the person. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You are a good journalist in my eyes. Just don't take it personal. If I would say you are bad, then I will ask you. Would you do it? You know, you would do it. You know, it's like I mean. Which is bad? No, but but that. No, 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 I'm just, that's why I said you are good. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't, didn't want to take it personal, you know? No, 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 so I'm saying you're good, you're good, because for me the question you ask me good, you know? But then, if like, if you, maybe you think, like you said, then you're a good journalist, and I ask you, you resign, would you resign? You, you say no, you know? Because you ask me like, why, why, and this, these questions are not in my responsibility, if I should continue or not, like, for me, I'm not like I said before, and if the next question that we will ask, we can use the same answer. I'm not a person, I would, I never give up on, on nothing. You know, I, this is the way I came up. If you want to be, let's say, a footballer, a professional, you will never give up. You fight, you work hard. You work even four times, ten times. You stand up and you stand up the eleven time and then you do it. This is how I made it. It's not like I came up and then I and made it as a professional. And the same as a coach. As a coach, it's not like, uh, oh, somebody will just give you anything for granted, a badge. You have to work hard, you have to have teams, you have to work with them, you have to surely get results, which were not there, 100%. This is my responsibility, no one else. And, and surely you will fall down as a coach. I can give you a lot of examples. And Oh, Otuado there, refusing to step aside. Let's bring in Nana Ajiman. He's a football coach and also a football pundit. He joins us via Zoom. I also have Sam Johnson. He's a former Black Stars player. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time here on Newsdex. I'll start with you, Nana Ajiman. Let's look at our performance against Niger 2-1, abysmal. What exactly yeah. is wrong? It appears we've fallen very far from grace. Yes, it has. Um, a very good morning to you. Um, morning. More than a fall from grace. Um, it's been something that's been happening for some time now. Um, and I think this is the culmination of poor management decisions, uh, the monetization of the Ghana Black Stars and the commercialization of the Ghana Black Stars. We, we have not been utilizing a comprehensive selection criteria. What we've been doing is selecting players that have some connection with us in terms of the agencies, et cetera, et cetera, with the hope that even if a player sits on the bench, that um, he will be seen by other clubs uh, outside of Ghana. And of course, that will generate revenue for whoever is within the management team or whoever is associated with those in the management team. Uh, and so they can make, they can make money. So it's taken a while to get to this point, but, you know, um, these are part of the problems. I mean, there are wholesale managerial problems with the, the senior national team. I think, for one, you know, those who manage the senior national team and the other national teams believe that these teams belong to them. They don't seem to recognize that it's money that is given to them through the Ministry of Youth and Sports. And well, it's not, and that message needs to be broadcast clear and loud to them. It doesn't belong to them, it belongs to all of us. And we are not going to sit by idly and just watch them now tell us, oh, we've still got the World Cup. We don't want you to go to the World Cup because we don't want you to squander any more of our money and come back with your non-achieving selves. 
you know, after you've had a nice time wherever you may yes. be, etc., uh, etc. Et we don't want. Them. So why if they come here, they cannot, they can't put that effort. Like Nana said, somebody who said, okay, I win the look football. You can get injured. Even running, you can get injured without somebody knocking you or anything. So if you can't play, hey, I can't play for Ghana because my leg is very, very expensive and I can't come in and put in my leg, so I'm not coming. Let those who want to do that come in and do it. Those who don't want to put in their legs, let them stay out so that we know that we are committed people. As a former player, what are some of the lessons you've learned on the field that you feel that our team is lacking? Yeah, on your sex earlier, we spoke to coach and pundit Nana. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Thank you.